Hello, everyone. I'm Tina. Finally, I've done all the videos about GSP actions. So I want to have a summary video to uh, discuss or to talk or to summarize what we have covered. Okay. At the beginning uh, of the GSP action videos, we talked about GSP action has uh, several or many tags. Okay, we talked about the GSP forward, which you want to forward a request and response to a now resource. It can be a GSP, it can be a server late. Okay, uh, same thing. Uh, uh, not the same thing. Okay, sorry, sorry, different. GSP include. It can be include another static file like HTML, another uh, GSP, uh, another server late. But uh, this GSP include yes happened at a wrong time. It's more suitable for dynamic resource, and it's not include the source code, because uh, when we using uh, GSP include directive, it happened at uh, the translation time, and it actually include the source code. Here GSP include is to include the response from the other resource okay it's not include the source code and we also talk about gsp prime gsp prime can be used together with the gsp forward can be also used together with the gsp include it will add some request parameters okay we uh, also mentioned several videos you uh, about GSP use bin. Okay, GSP use bin can be used to create a bin object. Uh, in different scope, page scope is default. It can also be uh, add into request session and uh, application, which is similar to do like you use request dot set attribute. You give a key and you give a value. Okay, GSP use bin can do exactly the same thing. And you can also use GSP set property, uh, GSP get property together with use uh, together with GSP use bin. GSP set property, it can be uh, grab, it can also grab the values from the incoming request parameters. Okay, you can use in property use wildcard if the uh, form control name attribute value is same as the property value. Uh, if it's different, you can use a prime attribute to customize. You can also directly uh, give the values, uh, use uh, uh, the value attribute. Suppose you have a string value, you can directly give. And uh, get a property is yes, uh, very simple. Print the value uh, into the uh, uh, page, okay, which is like uh, out.print. Okay, it will get the value, call the get method, then uh, print on the page. There are other two I cannot show you because GSP plugin and GSP port fallback, they are used together. They are kind of like embed another app component like applets. And when I started learning Java, I never used the applets. So for this, uh, the GSP plugin, GSP fallback, uh, if you have a use case, I think you can uh, use by yourself. A long time ago, when uh, I have a, fr a student show me um, which to use the GSP action uh, tags to do the layout. Uh, that way will be similar to uh, ASP.NET, uh, very different from, that way will be similar to which one? Uh, if you use the, the pug uh, previously called JED, that template, it's gonna be, similar to that template to do the layout because uh, uh, using the directive the layout is you have using a directive for every page you have to include the header uh, footer and setter and if you change to an, use another footer you have to change every page to change refer to the new footer gsp right it's also not very uh, like convenient Okay, but now I forgot which uh, um, which GSP action he actually used. I I feel probably is a GSP include. 
So anyway, for GSP plugin and fallback, if you are interested, you can, uh, you already familiar with others, I think you can uh, find a way to learn uh, or master these two action tags by yourself, okay? And uh, honestly speaking, um, even though I don't have a very long developing experience, okay, but I do have some, okay? Honestly speaking, I never used the GSP actions before, okay? Like uh, GSP use bin, GSP set a property, GSP get a property, they all can be replaced, but get a property can be uh, replaced by use uh, expression language. And GSP use bin, uh, GSP set a property, since we, we what? We use MVC now, we set, uh, uh, GSP we just consider as a view so uh, use bin is to define okay is to create a bin object we can do in the servlet so we don't do no longer do in the GSP they are pretty useful if we, we use GSP as a controller and a view together but now not and the GSP include uh, I also didn't use because for our previous layout, we use GSP include directive because only for the static files like a header, a footer, navigation, okay. Forward, I also didn't use because in servlets, we have what? We have a forward. That's why I never used, okay. Um, but since I want to, uh, this playlist is from for the beginner. Uh, so I want to show all the options actually existing in GSP. Sometimes you may need them, right? Okay. Anyway, uh, that's all for the summary this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy this playlist. Okay. And uh, if you have any question, you can leave a comment. I will try my best to uh, reply you as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, that's it. Thank you for your time and bye-bye.